Hello everyone and welcome back to another session of Elden Ring PvP and another weapon showcase. Today we are taking a look at a weapon that is great in name alone, the Dragon Great Claw. This is a weapon that you get by killing the Draconic Tree Sentinel at the capital outskirts. You should know where this is just by playing through the game, but I'll have an image on screen showing the location. This weapon requires 30 strength and 14 dexterity to wield, and it weighs 16 units. The skill of the weapon is Endure, and you are stuck with it because it is a somber weapon. At plus 10 it has a physical base damage of 294, a lightning base damage of 191, a C scaling in strength, and a D scaling in dexterity. This weapon is fine at best. With this weapon there are a number of glaring issues, so we'll get to those in a minute. Let's start off with the short list of pros. First off, on the PvE side of things, it does deal 30% more damage against dragons, and 15% more damage against ancient dragons. So that's a nice little bonus if you hate yourself enough to use this weapon. Aside from that, on the PvP side of things, the damage is fine. It actually has decent hyper armor, which it should considering it is a colossal weapon, and it actually is extremely light for a colossal weapon at only 16 units. So that's a good thing that it has going for it, and that is a reason to use this weapon. If you, for whatever reason, have decided, yes, I am going to use a colossal weapon, but for some reason I have imposed a weight limit on myself and can only wield a weapon that weighs 16 units, well, that's, this is your guy, this is your weapon, this is what you got. So, there's that. Now, for the skill of the weapon, Endure, oh, Endure. It is... Ugh. So, with it, you slam the hammer into the ground, and you give yourself a bit of a buff for a few seconds. You actually will have more hyper armor, you'll be able to poise through attacks, and your opponents will deal reduced damage. That said, it is basically useless. Because of the swing speed of this weapon, because of its overall move moveset speed, you can't necessarily rely on it to use the skill and then be able to trade a hit. And then with that as well, if your opponent continues to attack while you have it active, it only lasts for about three seconds. So if your opponent attacks you with a fast weapon as you use the skill, that's great. You reduce the damage. But then if they attack you again immediately following, well, your damage reduction is gone. You'll possibly get staggered depending on where in your attack animation you are, and if you have hyper armor during that part of the animation, and it just delays you getting hit a second time. So basically, it's a free way to give your opponent, if they're using faster weapons, even more damage than what one hit regularly would be. So there's really not much of a point to using it when you could just go for a trade and take advantage of your hyper armor to begin with. Yes, it will deal reduced damage, so that's all well and good, but it's kind of pointless, to be honest. It really kind of is. So that's a shame that we are stuck with it instead of having some cool kind of skill. The Dragon Scale Katana has that lightning strike that you do with it. A red lightning strike with this weapon would have been really, really cool, but From Software just hates us, I guess. So we didn't get to have that. It is what it is. Aside from that, though, the cons of the weapon, it's slow, it's a very telegraphed moveset. If you're one-handing, then you can get parried. Just by a sight read for it, it's really, really easy to do. The skill is terrible, you can't change it, it's horrible at chasing people down. The damage is fine, but it's definitely far from great. The base damages on this thing are not really all that special, and it's really let down by the fact that it has a C and D scaling. So that's bad as well. Overall, it's just kind of a terrible weapon, and that's not even taking into account the fact that it is very susceptible to aim punch. And for those who are unfamiliar with what aim punch is, basically it's when you are going to swing your weapon, and your opponent hits you while you're swinging your weapon. Occasionally you'll see it where when they hit you, your hitbox goes a little bit wonky your weapon kind of skews off to the side, and even if you're point-blank target locked on, your attack will just miss for no good reason. And that's because of aim punch. 
the hitbox gets skewed, and it just decides to miss. And being a heavier weapon, it's very susceptible to that. And with that on top of all of the other cons of the weapon, and with the very, very lackluster pros, this is a weapon that if you are going to use, you will need to endure. I am not sorry for the pun, From Software should be sorry for this weapon. That's all I have to say. There's one fight left. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video more than I enjoyed making it. Thank you all for stopping by. Leave some likes on the video to help make up for my suffering. I will see you all next time.